So I got the dreaded knock today in a place I never ever thought in a million years that I would get the knock. Take a look at this clip and then we'll talk about it. Just got the knock from the state police saying that this is a rest area and I cannot camp here all night that I have to leave. Like I can't stay here. I've never heard of that. Like they literally knocked on my door and told me that I could not stay here. Wow. They said no camping. So I think they're gonna go knock on this guy. Are they, are they gonna go knock on this guy's door? So as you saw, the police officer that was driving that cop car got out and I don't know if they made contact with the driver of that blue van, but soon after he got back in and backed into a spot. Now my mindset was watching that scene was that they backed in as a form of intimidation. Like we've already spoken to you guys, y'all need to hurry up and leave. We're gonna wait and see how long it takes. So then I get ready to leave, but before I look out my window to see if the police officers are still there and what do I see? both of the police officers at this blue van again. Now I can only imagine that they finally made contact with this whoever's in that blue van and they were telling them the same thing they told me. No overnight parking, you cannot stay overnight, you cannot sleep overnight and you need to leave as soon as possible. That's how I that's how I felt when they were speaking to me. It was like you've you've overstayed your welcome. You need to start leaving now. Get ready to leave. But one thing you do notice, they do not walk over to that burgundy car at all and say anything to the person in that vehicle they only approached my van and the van that was a few spots down from me that's what I can tell because soon after they got in that vehicle they stayed a few more seconds they pulled off they left and then you see the whoever's in that blue van they leave as, so as well you can see not only did I get the knock but the van that was a few spots down for me they got the knock as well and I don't like how the police officers handled my situation um I got there about 1.30. I started dozing off about 3.07. And that's when I heard loud banging on my window. I'm like, what the heck? I, it scared me because I'm like, I'm at a rest stop. I have never had banging ever, ever in my life. And so I peek through and I see two cops, two state police officers. And I'm like, did I do something wrong? Because I'm at a rest stop. Like, what? So I open my side door and I see two police officers standing in front of me. One looked to be about early 20s. The other one, early 30s. The police officer who was in his early 30s, he did all the talking. The other one just stood there with a smirk on his face. Um, so when I opened the door, I said yes. And the police officer was like, there is no overnight camping here. I said, I'm aware of that, sir. Um, I literally just got here. I haven't even been here that long. I've only been here a couple hours. Okay, but you cannot sleep here overnight. You cannot stay the night here. I said, okay, I, I'm copy that. I'm aware, can't stay over, got it. I think what bothered me the most was how he said it, how he approached me and the fact that his partner had this smug look. And what upset me the most was, he was just, I felt like he was very rude about it. He didn't come at me, it, had he approached me like this, when I opened my door, hi ma'am, how you doing? I'm good, my name is police officer such such, just making you aware that we are enforcing the no overnight camping policy here, whereas we didn't typically do that, but now we are because A, B, C, D, E, F, G has been happening. I would have been okay with that. I'm like, oh, okay, God, yes sir, I appreciate it, you know, letting me know, you know, I just got here, you know, I'm just trying to get some sleep, I'm, a, I'm tired, I've been, you know, running around all day, I just, I need, I need some rest, I'm exhausted. But he didn't come at me like that, you know, and, his partner was just sm smirking the whole time. And I wanted to ask him, I'm sorry, did I say something funny or is there something funny about my situation? But I didn't, I, I remained respectful the whole time. I just never thought that I would be told by two state police officers that I could not sleep the night overnight at a rest stop. There have been plenty of times where I have, in my one video where I was, you know, boondocking at a museum. I didn't feel safe. So I went to a rest stop and I slept there. You know, I got there about, what was it? 12, one o'clock in the morning and I slept there. Was I not supposed to do that? Like, you know, 
it's not what you say it's how you say it it's your approach and i just felt like i was just there was no kind of sympathy there there was nothing it was very you can't you can't you can't but i made this video just to show you that you're not even safe at a rest stop you know um i have to believe that if i was in a car i wouldn't have been approached um that's just my own personal opinion you know that police officer didn't even ask me what time i got there you know hey hi how you doing just let you know there's no you know overnight camping what time did you get here how long have you been here nothing just you can't you can't you can't and that's what just i don't know that just kind of put me off and i felt like he was just kind of flexing the fact that he was a police officer that's how well, how i took it that's my impression my impression of him and his partner the one that was smirking the whole time but made the video just to let you guys know that you you're not even safe at rest stops uh from the knock you can get the knock anywhere even at a rest stop um if you've ever used a rest stop or if you live in your car your van or an rv or tr you're a traveler or you you know stay at truck stop if you're a trucker and you've stayed at rest stops before let me know in the comment box down below if you've ever had any issues staying at rest stops have police officers approached your vehicle while you're at a rest stop and told you you cannot stay overnight uh let me know in the comment box down below i'd be uh interesting to know if anybody else has experienced what i experienced but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i appreciate you guys watching but i'm tired i'm gonna lay down my adrenaline's kind of coming down i'm feeling a lot better but uh I'm 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 out. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.